Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for a new show. This time is The Sex Lives of College Girls. And I've been hearing a lot about this show and like a lot of people wanted me to react to. And thankfully someone who sponsored something like a long time ago uh, decided to change her... Um, her original request and change it for this one uh and i'm really happy because i it's the best of both things right i get this show is a sponsor and i get to watch it right away with all of you so i really hope that you guys enjoy and you guys like it and continue supporting for more uh as of now i think the show only has one season and it's a 10 uh, episode uh, season and only the first episode is 50 minutes long the other ones are like short episodes so um, yeah I'm, I'm excited for that um, and I will be reacting to the entire first season so thank you so much to Gracie here on Patreon for all her support I hope you enjoy I hope you like it um, and yeah yeah the first uh, the title of the first episode is welcome to Essex is that how you pronounce it? Essex. I'm probably I'm pronouncing it wrong because probably one of the S's is silent, like on island, you know, because English is amazing. Uh, but anyways, I am here ready to react to it. And I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. So, yeah, uh, like I said, give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode one of the sex lives of college girls. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, okay. You make me so hard. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you stop? We're jumping our daughter up at school. I can see your erection. Okay, okay. I mean, it's the sex yes, life, it's so. But with one lazy procedure, an Accutane prescription, and medical grade Botox injected into my armpits, I'm normal. You don't so sweat now? Away? <laughs> no, mom, don't be stupid. Just take him home, put him on the shelf in my bedroom. <laughs> Aww. I also have a teddy bear that I sleep with. Hey there, kiddo. And I'm not yeah. afraid to say it. Before we go inside, I just want to say it. Oh, uh, no. Don't, don't cry, please. I'm really, the first no, Dad, to go to I need college. you not to cry right now. God, I'm so proud don't of you. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> I haven't told you honey, enough. Why don't you go inside and um, just get yourself together? Go sit in the car. Go, go. <laughs> Maybe it's the trees or the rivers, the air. I just feel so alive here. Dad, you're obsessed with New England. I mean, it was like you want to have sex with New England. <laughs> That's not possible. He has tried, I bet. me and Francesca haven't texted me back yet. I mean, I guess what's really important is that my baby girl is going to my alma mater. I'm telling you, after the next four years, you're probably going to want to have sex with New England, too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I Damn. I'm using your legs to push that. I can't tell what I'm using, Carol. <laughs> oh, look at the boys. Oh, wait, I know him. Is it him from Riverdale? Hey. Hey, it must be Kimberly. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Uh. We're your roommates. I'm Bella. That's Whitney. That's Layton. Just kidding. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. One time I drank so many white Russians, I threw up out of that window right there. Ew. Lovely. You're gonna love it here. Yeah. I already do. Oh. It goes with She without. seems sweet. I am a very public figure. Oh, we get it. We know all about your divorce. Your ex sounded like a real <laughs> That's my dad. Oh, is she here? Oh my gosh, you must be Leighton. We're oh. so happy to meet you. She's letting two hugs. I'm sorry, who the fuck are you? Leighton. <laughs> Where are Francesca and Esme? Where are they? Uh, my best friends and my roommates. Dude, I think we're your roommates. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where are the friends? Very nice to meet you all. Did the dad knew? Have a great time in college. Oh no. Hey, late. Hi. What the fuck 
is going on? <laughs> this is our roommate, Siddhartha. We just showed up and they assigned us with that random girl. Trust me, we're just as upset as you are. Okay, but how do you don't happen? look upset. I mean, upset. we filled out the rooming questionnaire the exact same way. Is it possible that maybe you messed up your answers? I mean, writing wasn't your strong suit at Spence. Oh. Excuse me? She's a great writer, okay? She wrote her Nana's eulogy, not a dry eye in the house. Dad? Thank you, Dad. <laughs> See, assholes. Not you. Look, I don't know how this all got so fucked up, but I'm gonna fix this somehow, all right? Please. Do, do they want her there, though? Doesn't seem like they do. Don't follow me on social. <laughs> I, love you. I love you too. Hey, are you good? Your dad was shaking pretty hard when he said goodbye. Oh, he's fine. I'm sure he's finished crying by now anyway. Love you, Peanut! Oh, <laughs> he hasn't stopped. <laughs> My name is Frude Rasmussen, and I will be your freshman advisor and friend, aka your faf. Welcome to Essex! Your faf, okay. He seems like he's trying. Breakers, and don't worry, many students at Essex have student jobs. Who else has one? Anyone? No one else. <laughs> the fuck? I guess perhaps it is just you here. Cool. Look, cool. Fruta, cool. I'm sure you're good at this, but sharing our fears isn't gonna I'm make I'm scared it because I'm gay. I was in the closet all through high school and I don't want to do that again, so I promised myself I would tell everyone the minute I got here. Guys, I'm gay. Go for it! Yes! The fact that no oh, one... Uh, I'm gay, too. I've been out since I was 12. Good it for you. It wasn't easy in Oklahoma, but I had to be me. Aww. That's good. This is great. I'm gay, too. I <laughs> so <laughs> much about our new gay friends. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come to college to be tethered to some dude I dated in high school. Also, I never really dated anyone in high school, but I'm here. I'm super sex positive. In theory, more than inexperienced, and I am ready to smash some D's. Okay, so she's not gay. Not for any weird reason. He's just not ready. He's, He's not ready. Not ready? Oh mm. well, what's wrong with that? Yeah, boys are born ready, so something's up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, like, waiting, but also like really up to date on Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's nothing like that. <laughs> oh, they play soccer. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> oh, she good. Oh, she good. That's good! She's good. Our ladies hustle knows when you should be impressing me! Oh no, that other girl looks mean. Oh, I really like your sticker. Huh, thanks. I don't know what it means, but I saw it at a gas station and was like, that would be cool in my locker. <laughs> oh, well I think it's meant for people who identify as... I'm just playing. I'm super gay. Like, yes, I'm the yes. LeBron James of being attractive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm Willow. Whitney. Hey, Will. Okay, Willow. Like Whitney. Hey, can I talk to you about something? Of course. What's up? It's kind of serious. I just, I'm finding it really difficult to concentrate during practice because I want to fuck you so bad. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to. There are people Wait, what? still here. Everyone's gone except like one janitor. Hold on. Is it Joe or Alejandro? Because Alejandro notices everything. Chill. No one saw. Oh. And no one will see this. So they know each other. Is this a, is this okay? Going for tonight? Yeah. I'm really excited to be working at Tips with you guys. I, I I'm Can sure tell. we'll have a latte fun. <laughs> oh, I just want to no. say you are a wonderful little lady. But then there was some glitch in the system or something, and they got assigned to some random girl with weird clothes. Bless her heart. Well, in addition to the survey, they also wrote specific directions and who they wanted in a roommate. <laughs> Specific how? Let me see. Do, Do not, not remove. <laughs> Why? Why the hell would they write that? I know. You seem like such a <laughs> <laughs> she well, kind of does, though. The Catullan Prospective Writers Meeting. That being said, know this going in. The Catullan is the most selective extracurricular on campus. What about acapella? Hey, fuck acapella! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what you're saying is technically correct, but I think we're getting ahead of things here. This, Ready this, for a comedy that's not the movie. <laughs> God, okay, whatever. Whatever, I don't care. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not like an oversharer like every other fucking girl in our generation. I just think that you could open up more. Okay. 
Okay, but you guys could have told her this before they dumped her. Feelings, and I hope an air conditioner falls on you. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like her. What's her name? Hey. Forgot. You haven't been out in a bit, so I brought you some food from work. Kimberly, I'm from New York City. Okay, and I know from your world that probably sounds like a really fun evening, but for me, that's worse than getting a pap smear. So can you shut the door when you leave? Oh, honey, but you're gonna spend a lot of time here with this girl, so there's nothing wrong in bonding. Hello. Hey, is this late in Murray's room? Oh. <laughs> Yes, uh, she lives here. Damn, she's a lucky lady. You guys make a sexy couple. <laughs> she's my sister, actually. Oh. Uh. Yikes. You're Leighton's brother? Then you're practically family. Come to mama. <laughs> wow. It's like I got a statue. <laughs> I'm gonna go. But I think you can handle being civil to those girls for the next eight months. They seem perfectly nice to me. Well, that's because they want to have sex with you. I know they do. <laughs> 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 disgusting. I kind of like this. Know, just, Siblings. I've been such a bitch to them, you know? Like. Well, do something nice then. Show them you're going to be a good roommate. Also, isn't I'll this the time when you guys experiment? I'm hoping, like, people were recommending me this, and this seems extremely straight. <laughs> well, the three. Were what you are just you? changing in the closet? What? No. I mean, you? I went from one outfit to another. So, I mean, I guess if you call that changing. <laughs> Are you like, just something? Hey, Leela. Hey. I just want to say I'm so inspired by you. Like, this morning when my alarm clock went off, I thought to myself, kill me. But then I was like, shut up, Kimberly. If Leela can go through what she's going through and come to work, you can get out of bed. <sighs> what exactly am I going through? I mean, you know, it can't be easy with a baby. And uh, the baby's dad being incarcerated. He was fucking with you. <laughs> in a way, it's prison for the whole family. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I have a kid or a baby daddy, and definitely not one that's in jail. Oh, but can you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he was messing with you. Yeah. And he knew you'd believe it too, because you're some hick from shit town, Arizona. Wow, uh, Kanan, you're such an asshole. I'm just trying to meet people in a school where I don't know anyone. You don't have to be a jerk. Okay, okay, relax. Relax. He doesn't mean it. He's going through a lot at home. His brother just ruined a promising football career by joining a gang. Oh, well, I didn't know. Oh, come on, dude! Shot, but now he makes us call him Thug Blood. Oh my god, come on, shut <laughs> up. What is wrong with you two? <laughs> She's way too innocent, you know? Hey, you're not supposed to do that. What the? That's a fault! Come on, dude! Alright, this is yours, Whitney, this is yours! Oh! This is not rugby? What the fuck? Don't touch me, entitled oh, bitch! Oh, no, oh enough, my! Enough, enough, enough! All right, you're done for the day. This is my problem, not yours. Really? You're only making things worse. <sighs> but uh, one thing, I just want to say one thing. That was a fault, okay? She was kicking you. She like, if you want Neymar, he will be like rolling all over the 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 field, okay? I may not know anything about like American football or basketball or baseball. I know soccer, okay? And that was a fault. Do they have like a referee or something? Look, it's great that you're excited, but don't be too bummed if you don't make the staff this year. What? Why would you say that? It's just with all the freshmen and the upperclassmen that are reapplying, uh, I don't know if there are going to be that many female spots. Female spot? You haven't even read all the submissions yet. It's just a really competitive year. You know, a bunch of siblings of staff members are submitting and we already have two women on staff, so. Of like 15 people. Look, I hate it too. I would give anything for Elizabeth Warren to be president, but keep your chin up. You know, if you love comedy, there's like five other improv troops on campus. Did this well, guy just say what I. It's all Asian. So. That, this is such a bullshit. Come on, open up. 
Oh my god. He's back. An iPad? An Holy iPad? Shit. I want to be so, her friend. It looks like I will be staying. Hi, I um Oh, uh, sorry. We don't want to sign your environmental petition or whatever. <laughs> oh, um, Max. Hey. That's a boyfriend. Oh my god, this is Max, my boyfriend. The one who looks like Shawn Mendes? Shawn Mendes. People tell me I look like that all the time. <laughs> what the fuck who are you tells doing? you that? I wanted to surprise you. So <laughs> I took the train up from Princeton. Hey, I, I just want to be part of the Catalan. That's awesome. But it's not up to me. We all vote. So if I were you, I'd try to get those guys on your side. What guys? The ones who are behind that little thing? Damn. You did what? I gave six hand jobs. Not at the same time or anything, I'm not like a porn star. I talked to each of them, told them I was a writer, that I loved their work, and if they voted for me, I could be into doing some hand stuff. I told them I'm a girl in this jail, just like you told me to. I, I didn't? definitely didn't yeah. see to jerk them. Okay, first off, why the shade? I got two things out of this. This is a win-win for me. I helped my chances of getting on the Catalan, and I got to give a bunch of hand jobs. No one likes giving <laughs> hand jobs. Maybe I do. Maybe I love it. Hey, I want, like, that's up to you. Sexual experiences for most of my sad ass life. So <laughs> suddenly I'm not enough to have a bunch of dicks thrown my way. Sorry, but I'm a crank up. <laughs> I now love her. Treated sex for an opportunity. Just like men have been doing for centuries. I flipped the script. I mean, I'm not sure you did. <laughs> positive y'all do it <laughs> i mean feminist, i think female sex positivity is great okay, it's, okay thank you max but like if she wants to then why not right but like You're that was so, so i don't know thank you <laughs> so i was thinking maybe we should both be free i totally agree just free from what free from each other uh, wait like free from each other mm -hmm. He's breaking up with you. Are, are you are you breaking up with me? I think of it more as me initiating the conversation of our mutual independence. Dude, you are have you sex with me? her. You took my virginity and now you're dumping me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We took each other's virginity. Mine was yeah. just as fragile as yours. Dude, that is fucked up. That is fucked uh, up. Can we have some privacy, please? No. Uh, no. And you know what? You fucking will... She made it! <laughs> Dude, can you move your reflections on my selfie? <laughs> Look, I don't know if I, I'm okay with what she did, but it's her Stop body, it. so whatever, right? Shouldn't you be leading by example? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know, I just... Babe! Uh, I... Oh, Babe. no. Is this one of your players? Hi, I'm Michelle, I'm Dalton's wife. <gasps> so nice to meet you. Dalton's wife. This is Whitney. Oh my god. Of course. What an I'm asshole. Sorry, I'm not to be a stalker or anything, but I'm a big fan of your mom. Which oh my god. I just love her. I got to go. But it's really nice to put a face with a name I've heard so many times. <laughs> not once. You asshole. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, you the, the fuck you just hey. did? Did you just throw your trash on the floor in front of him? He was already sweeping there. Oh, so you just bounce your little breakfast wrap wrapper on the ground instead of carrying it to the trash like a normal fucking person? What mm. the fuck is wrong with you? He's not your goddamn servant. It's not a big deal. It no, is. I get it. You're some asshole from that town where they shop big little lives <laughs> and you fucking dollar jeans. That's not a lot of money for jeans. Shut the fuck up. Not everyone on this campus has money. I'm sorry. That's good. It's good and that- No pants should cost more than $40. <laughs> I agree with you, bitch. Yes! Yes! You know what? I like oh, that. Don't let us insane. Hi. You remember Corey, right? From the party at Montauk last summer? Uh, we were on the same team for flag football. Montauk flag football? That's the whitest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean that as a compliment. Oh. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you need a tour around campus or something? Let me know. Hey, thanks. That offer include me? No, it definitely does not. Uh. Hey, um, I know we just met, but would you be willing to lift your shirt up and show me your torso? <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever asked me that before. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> You're very nice. Hey, if you and your roommates are free tonight, we're throwing a party at Theta by Delta. Just stop by. 
Yeah. Stop by. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Clayton, you're gonna fuck a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I fucking love her. I just want to say that. I love the elf. Sweetie. Your boyfriend, Max, fucking sucked. He ate all our neutral brain bars, and I'm pretty sure he used my loofah. Ew. I know he was your first love and your first, you know, dick. <laughs> he was a dud. Also, he shed on the sofa like a cat. The dude was a yeti. <laughs> I love that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Yes, she did! <laughs> <laughs> They have to have fun! Why not? Yas! Yas! Come on, girl! Yas! Oh, I am really in love with all four of them. Oh, no, I'm sorry. These are open containers. So? So, someone could have put something in it? Do you have a bottle or a can? Oh, sure. This frat party has a wide variety of drink options. Do you want to see a wine list? Oh, God. I, I think you're being sarcastic, but I'm not sure. These are great. Thank you so much. We're gonna go. Thanks. <laughs> well, it is okay to be careful what you drink. Hey, I just wanted to check in on you. Well, fuck off, Max. Also, can I keep using your Netflix password? Fuck off! <laughs> Oh no! Oh my god! Are you okay? Dorming with? No. Excuse me? Neither of us care what dorm I'm in. I want to see your room. What? Okay! Show me what your room looks like. Okay! Oh! Oh, you trying to fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's show you the room. Yeah! <laughs> I must look good tonight. <laughs> you do! <Yeah>. You do! <laughs> Okay, right on to business. Away. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Okay, my girl. Okay. Okay. I knew I liked her for a reason. <laughs> oh shit! You go for it, Lennon. Yes. Get on the bed. Oh, okay, okay. And a top. Oh my god. Do I love this girl? I loved it. I loved it. I was expect. Well, I what? I kind of was expecting some gayness, you know. I was suspecting some gay thing because when people recommend you guys are so obvious when you guys recommend me like you should do this show I know you're gonna like it when you guys say that you know I know it's like oh there's a lesbian couple <laughs> or there's a gay couple in it so they you guys know me too well um, but yeah okay so that was the end of season one, episode one of the sex lives of college girls. And I honestly, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoy the show because like it kind of like with the girls dynamic, it kind of remind me of the wilds without the survival part of it, of course. Um, but they all, they are all, you know, uh, um, it's, it's a very diverse cast, which is, like, amazing. Um, and, you know, honestly, seeing that is just, like, that's how the world looks. So it's amazing that, you know, you get to do it that way, you know? So I, 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 I like that. Um, and the introduction of all four main characters, I think it was very... Um, it was, it was done really well. You know, Kimberly, who is the, like the more naive, you know, comes from a really small town. It's not like she has, uh, has lots of money or anything like that, you know. Um, and yeah, so she is here and we, we, we see her experience in like, oh, she has this one boyfriend from, for a long time who honestly is an, an asshole, you know, because he comes here 
has sex with her for the first time. I'm pretty sure it wasn't his first time. And then breaks up with her. You know, so it was just shitty as hell. And, you know, I, I kind of liked how naive she seems. But also I like how the, the show kind of tackles this 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 political correctness thing that uh, ha society now has, you know, where, you know, are you allowed to ask one thing? Are you not allowed to ask? Are you like, you know what I mean? She was like, I think it was totally wrong for her to say like, oh, you're gonna be my first black friend because he's just a, a person, you know, and like, you don't come up to people to say like, I want to be friends with you to kind of like, know that I have a black friend. So it was kind of like off. But like, I love that, that it brings up a conversation of like, do we have to be this political correct in addressing other people that we might want to hang out? Because she could like easily, like she didn't necessarily have to be like, oh, what is your story? And like, of course, all the cliche things that people think about, uh, about black people. She kind of like, she was so naive that she believed what he was saying about like the fact that her, his mom was a crackhead and like he, you know, had to make money to send it to the mom and the little sister and like this very tragic story that absolutely is right for, you know, and fits a black man, you know? So, um, I think that the fact that the show, it, it's making fun of that and it's making, it's putting a light to it in a more sarcastic way of like, look how idiotic it is to think that everyone's life just because of the color of their skin is the same, you know? I know that Kim Kimberly didn't do it in like any offensive way or anything, but there are a lot of people who might think like her, who might not have a good heart and, you know, um, do have those cliches in their minds, you know? Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of glad that they kind of explore that. Then you have also the conflict be uh, 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 on how Bella gets picked for the... Um, uh, for the this Catelyn or something like that, this group, so she can write because she wants to be a comedian and like she knows the greatest comedian started there and then went to SNL, so it is like her dream to be part of it. Um, and she follows Layton's uh, advice of like just go for it, you know. Um, but I don't think she meant that, you know. <laughs> uh, but like for one, I am like yes. Men for a lot of time and probably still until, uh, up until now have used sex uh, and have used that as a way to get themselves better positions, you know, and like it happens. So why isn't that she can use it, you know, if we're talking about equality and all. Um, but I, I just think that that uh, that coming back to her and biting her in the ass and like in the sense of like, yeah, okay, you want you did a hand job to all of this, but you should check if some of them had girlfriends. Actually, she's not the one who's supposed to check that. The the men, she did not force anything. The men who were in a relationship should have said, "Yeah, well, thank you, but like no thank you." Right? It's not her responsibility ultimately. Um but that is going to, you know, put some pressure on her into like you know um uh is she really a good writer or is she, does she really belong here because the way she got in is because she offered a lot of hand jobs to a lot of people so was that the way she wanted to make it or not you know i i, I don't know I, I i feel like it's going to be a lot more damaging for her than it will be if it was a man you know but again I'm so happy that they are open this type of conversations so we can like talk about the 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 double face that we have sometimes with specific subjects, you know, uh, when we think one thing is okay for a man to do or sometimes we think it's a okay thing to do for a woman, you know. So, 
Yeah. I honestly love Bella. I, her energy is just amazing and I, I absolutely loved her. Um, then you have, okay, you have Whitney, okay, who is in a relationship with the this guy, the, the trainer, you know, the coach, um, who is like, oh, yeah, I like black women, you know, yet he's married to a white woman and married, which is like the worst thing, you know, because he can like, like, I, I don't care if he likes black women or, 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 or white women or whatever, you know, I don't care. Like, what I care is the fact that he is a fucking liar because he's married, okay? And I'm pretty sure Whitney was not aware of the fact that this guy was married, okay? So it was just awful. And she has, it seems like she has a lot of pressure because her mom is a senator, right? So there's a lot of pressure for her, for her to behave and for her to not have any scandal and things like that. You know, even the mom set everyone down to kind of like go with the rules, you know? Um, and then you have Layton, who I was like, I kind of like this girl because she seems like, I see like a mean girl and like, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm like attracted to it, uh, to the character. I was like, okay, I like her. Like I, like out of like all of them at first, glance I kind of liked her and Bella um but the thing is that uh she's supposed to be with her friends from high school and she was supposed to be roommates with them but the two friends decided that yeah we were gonna go through the entire process but at the end on the first day you're gonna find out that actually we're not friends you know and that we never were because you don't open up which in all honesty, if you are truly a friend, you know, and you really care about that other person, you will have said this way before that point, you know? So apparently there is a wall and like by the end of the episode, we can understand what wall is that. It's just that she is in the closet still apparently and like she likes older women as well. And I'm like, go for it, you know? And like, I was not as... I, I was kind of expecting that, but I didn't know who was going to be the gay one. So I am like, you know, I am, I am here. Okay. I'm here for it, but I really, really did like her character, you know, um, because it seems like, you know, there is so much more to tell with her, you know, to get to know about her. Um, and you know, the fact that she's still playing with the, oh, yeah, I like boys and things like that. But, like, at the end of the day, she's like, ah, she's gay, <laughs> you know. Well, I'm not going to put a label on her, but she is into women. It seems a bit more. And old, older women as well. Like, I'm like, bitch. Anyway, so, yes, we need to know a lot more about Layton, you know, um... And I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. Um, and yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that I get to watch this show. Uh, I really liked it. Um, Nico, if I'm not wrong, is the guy who plays some character on Riverdale, if I'm not wrong. Or maybe he's from Sabrina. I'm still not sure which one it, he is. I don't know. Um, and yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and Whitney and Cannon... I'm up for that as well. They look extremely cute together. Uh, and like the fact that they're playing soccer, which is a, a, a sport I know about, it's good, you know? <laughs> because I watch shows that have like, for instance, All American, it has the American football. I don't understand shit. I never do. I never know when it's a goal or like even if they have goals, I don't think they do. I don't know, you know, but soccer, I can understand, so great uh but yeah anyways thank you so much to gracie for sponsoring this show i hope you and everybody else enjoys my reactions for it i might do another reaction video right after this one so stay tuned for that um and yeah thank you so much guys for watching and for all your support you guys are amazing um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy and continue supporting for more Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link, as always, will be in the description down below. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for the sex lives of college girls. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.